The worst hits are the ones you don't see coming. Injuries, they happen. All right. We have broken ribs. You have no idea you even broke a rib. You have a broken finger. You have no idea you broke a finger. But they're not missing Derby Day. They won't do it. They'll wrap it up. They're going to go compete. You're getting hit with a 4,000-pound vehicle. This is fender bender times 10. I think the biggest thing with car accidents is just the amount of energy that's transferred. It's you're taking all of that energy, and it's passing through the body. When you see somebody that's in demolition derby. It, it's the type of thing where that, when that comes to town, whoever's on call knows that they'll, they'll have something to do that evening. I've been to a couple myself, and I sit there amazed that these people get in and do what they do. In a car accident, like any part of your body is, is, is game, truthfully. So anything from your feet that might be resting on the pedals all the way through your knees into the hips, into the spine, which usually takes a brunt, and then the whiplash. And also the brain, though the brain is also sits in that little cage and it's, it's moving back and forth. Well, I'm surprised I ain't walking around with a drool cup, you know, and walking around all kind of goofed up and from as many concussions as I have. I, I mean, I've had a lot of concussions. Hit me in the trunk, my head went back, and I hit the pillar with my helmet. I got out of my car and I'm, <clears throat> I'm looking around and I'm like, where the hell am I? I got in my truck and I'm like, damn it, where the hell's my steering wheel? And I was in the back seat. That's, that's how far out of it I was. I had a concussion. I mean, bad concussion. Doctor says it's all right. 